What is happening, YouTube? It is your boy Marvel Knight here, bringing you another anime review. This is to the review for Hayaku episodes 2 through 6. Now, as you guys know, the schedule is at full bore. I hope you guys are enjoying the new schedule. I really hope you are, because I'm enjoying it every step of the way. I'm enjoying it. It gives me a reason to get these enemies out there, because I'm lazy as hell to get you guys to, get, to do my anime. And knowing that you guys are watching my videos and, and liking them, is really getting me to put my butt out there and to get that sounded gay, but get getting myself out there to stop being lazy and to watching the series. Is, and I decided to, um, as a special thank you, I have watched an extra episode because normally it's only three episodes a week. So I decided to do an extra. Okay, no, it's because I wanted to watch another episode. But yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this review. Like I said, um, I'm not really good at reviews, so um. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see in my reviews, what you want me to cover about an episode or whatnot. Um, I guess, I hope, I mean, I hope eventually I can get to do reactions, because reactions are a lot easier to do. I mean, true, you guys won't get to see any of the video, but well, it's probably a good thing I'm not able to do that, because then I'm going to have to worry about copywriting and all that stuff. So good thing I can't, but hopefully maybe eventually I will be able to. But for now, let me know in the comment section how, which, how you guys want me to do my reviews, and hopefully you guys do, uh, I can uh, learn how to do it. And yeah, let me know in the comments section because I, I want to do what you guys want me to do. Um, if you got any anime, if you got any anime suggestions, any videos, anything you guys want me to react to, I'm gonna react to them immediately. So let me know in the comments section if you have any ideas for new series or videos that are on YouTube that you want me to check out. Because I definitely am gonna check them out. Most YouTubers will give them a suggestion and it'll take them maybe a year or two to get to it, or not even get to it at all. I will get to it immediately. Don't even have to worry about that. But anyway. This is the review for episodes 2 through 5 of Hayaku. Now, if you guys remember where we left off, Shio has just Shio Hinata has lo had lost his last junior his first and last junior high tournament against Kaijuma, um, known as the King of the Court, um, and had swore his revenge on him and would beat him at a match eventually when they got moved on to high school and he got two way better team, um, and then he found out that Kaijimo, Kaiji, see, I got it right the first time, Kaijiyama is at the same high school, Karasuno, 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 uh, it goes to the very same high school as him, so the first episode ended with him wondering why the heck he was there. So we find out that he is, he got rejected by the top school. Uh, he because he, he tried to go to a top school and they rejected him, so he had to go to the next best. And that was Karasuno. So now instead of being enemies, they are and rivals. They are now teammates. So that was a good, cool little twist I saw. And just want to stop real quick. It's gonna be a recap video because, like I said, I'm not that good. I don't want to just do a video where I'm like it was a great episode. Graphics were good, story was good. I loved the story. So yeah, no, it's gonna be a recap video. So at least I can give you guys a little bit more to it than a little maybe a little bit of what I thought of it. So. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that part, but anyway, back to the story. Um, so they, um, so yeah, so they find out that they're gonna be rivals, and uh, instead of being rivals, they're working together. So that was kind of a letdown for Hinata because he was like, "What the? Uh, uh, well, you're not supposed to be here." So um, yeah, so they do that, um, and after that, uh, they meet the third years. Um, don't remember their names, um, but yeah, they meet three um, of the three years that were there. Um, found out about their desire to make the nationals. Well, let's hope the teams want to make the nationals. But they are a little. I mean, and plus you got to realize, after it's like at certain times in Japan, those sports are really only prominent in school. Once you get out of school, it's really hard to make that a career. Like that's how it is for like say basketball. It's one of those things where it's like there's no real basketball teams in Japan, or it's very hard to get into them. So the, really the only time you're going to get yourself into a kind of like competitive uh, sport like that is to do it through school. So in order to do that, the only chance you get to get to like nationals or the tournaments or whatnot and play like seriously is during school. So when you get to your third year and you still haven't gotten to that point, you're at a point of desperate uh, of desperate. You need to get to it that year because you're never really gonna, you might never get a chance to do it again because it's not like the U.S. where like if you're really good in college, even if you don't make it to the nationals or the tournament or whatever it, or, or not NBA, uh, not the NBA, but the um, the uh, you know the the tournaments for um, college basketball, 
you still have a chance that you could still go to the NBA and become good. Or if you're into football, go into the NFL, soccer, the uh, NHS, um, uh, the then hockey, soccer, uh, volleyball, all of that stuff. You can just go on to the next thing. Japan, there's a lot of a change. I mean, like they might have a basketball team. But forget football. We probably have no football teams out there we can go to. Other than playing with your friends, you're not going to find that. You're not going to find baseball. You're not. Gonna, it's really hard to find national sports there that you can play after if you never make it. So for third years, it's very, very essential that you make it to that year. So their third years, they want to make it to nationals at no cost because they need to get to it. This is their final year that they're going to have the chance to do it. So um, Hajima, uh, Hajiyama is uh, really good, but he's also extremely cocky, and um, he likes to yell at his teammates a lot, whereas Hanada doesn't have a lot of skill or technique, but he's got natural-born speed and jump, and he's a really great teammate, but they're not going to seem for the and they're not going to see really good. Now, they are kicked out of the club because the, uh, 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 I don't know exactly what his term is, but Basically, the head of the third year is the one who is, like, the most experienced. And I don't, I mean, he's not a coach, but he's, like, the player who everyone looks to to talk to. Rejects them and will not let them in until they can learn to work as a team. So, they decide to challenge them to a match. So, what they do is they bring one of the third years. Uh, um, they bring one of the third years over to help with Kajima and Hanada. And then the other first years that are also joining team up with the captain. So they are, yeah, that's what it is, they're captain. So they're going to do a three on three on Saturday, and the, um, Hi, um, Kajiyama and Hinata need to learn how to uh, play together so that they can challenge them to a match and win. Because they, And they also said that um, the captain said that if Kajiyama cannot win this match, well, not, does not win, he can, he can never play setter at the school. I don't know if that means he can't play at all, or he just can't play setter. But they say he cannot play setter at all. Because he's not even the official setter of Karasuna. That's one of the third years. But if he does not win, he cannot be Karas setter ever. He cannot be setter ever. So that brings a lot of shinj on him. So him and um, him and Hanada got to find a way to train. They got nowhere to go. Thankfully, the third year lets them know that they're going to practice is going to be starting the next day. And he decides to show up early. They decide to show up like an hour or two early so that they can use the court because the third year brings the keys and doesn't let the captain know so that they can train in the in the courts. So they do that. They train a little bit, blah, blah, blah. They have a lot of fun. They're, oh, not a lot of fun. But um, then they uh, go out later after practice has already happened because they got to leave before the captain notices that they're there. And so they go to practice somewhere else, and they end up bumping into the other first years. And the first year is like the one of the first years is like really tall. He's like the tallest one out of all the Karasunas. He's like a foot taller than Kajima, and he's really tall. Um, and he is a dick. I'm not even gonna. I'm not. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. He's immediately a dick. He immediately starts ragging on Kajima. Um, Kajima, we, we find out we find out that the reason why he didn't make it to nationals in junior high was because his team basically jumped the uh, basically jumped basically like just dropped him, basically just dropped him. Like he was yelling like at the same tournament that he beat Hinata in. Later on in that series, he was yelling at them, screaming at them because they weren't playing hard enough, and eventually they just they quit. Basically, they quit. They were like, we're not going to take this from you anymore, and they refused to hit anything he said. He literally tossed the ball up to be hit, to spike, and nobody was there. I just fell right back down. And then they set him on the bench for the rest of the tournament. So that was hard on him. And we find out that the reason why he... And we have also find out he hates being king of... He hates being called king of the court. He hates it. He does not like being called that. He, he yells at Hinata for calling him that. Then we find out the reason why he's called the king of the court is not because he's really good, but it's become, because he's like a king. He is a tyrannous oppressive king like he's really really oppressive so they nicknamed him the king of the court so they decide to so Hanada decide so they so they are training and they train 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 and here comes Saturday um and the battle begins uh so they start playing uh it's evenly matched but then but then the other team uh the team with the captain and the other two first years starts and um they start in Kagami and Hanada start losing. Um, 
we can see that Kaijumana is really starting to get a little bit better um, in terms of yelling. Like he starts to yell at Hinata, but then stops and then whatnot. And then we find out because we find out that Ka um, Kaijuma has these very reckless tosses that misses everybody. We find out that Hinata can hit, can actually match them with speed. So we, because like he can get up there, but then he just gets blocked. So then Kaijumana finds out that if he goes up. Um, Kaijuma can match where his hand's gonna be, like literally, like he'll just run up with no ball there, and he'll shoot the ball up to where his hand is so he can smack it. So like, he'll come this way, all the blockers will come this way thinking he's going that way, and then he'll immediately stop and speed the other way and jump up, and then just two seconds later he's hit the ball. Because he won't know because he doesn't hit the toss until after he's already up in the air. And he has his eyes closed. Think about that. He's hitting the ball with his eyes closed. He's 100% convinced that Kaijuma is going to have the ball to him so he doesn't whiff air. That's pretty sick. And the best part is, if any of the team goes to block him, he can just toss it over to the other third year on his team and he can spike it. So they ha that's called a quick attack. So they're using the quick attacks. It's actually pretty sick. And they end up winning. So, yeah. So they are officially on the team. Uh, the hot... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, know exactly who she is on the team, but she is one of the club advisors or whatever. She gives them official jackets, so they get the official jacket of the Karasuno uh, volleyball team. So that's pretty sick. Um, and then the club advisor um, comes in. Takihata. I actually remember his name. Takahata son. Takihata sama shows up and lets them know that their first practice match is against one of the top four schools, Ido. I don't remember the last name, so it's just Ido. Ido, which is one of the top four schools at that time, is going to play them in a practice match. But they have a condition. Karasuno, I mean, Kaijihama, has to play setter the entire time. So, um, the official setter says, we'll do it. He can do it. We'll have him do it. So they're going to play setter. They're going to practice the quick attacks and see how that matchup is going to work. Um, so Kar um, Hinata is immediately on the first squad as the middle blocker, and uh, Kaijihama, the official setter. So that's cool. So they, they have until Tuesday, so they're training for that. They train, they train, they train. They're getting ready. But then, of course, Kai, uh, Kaijuma says some stupid wisecrack to Hinata. And then he starts getting a little bit nervous. And then, of course, that overwhelms him because he's like, everyone's like, don't, uh, Kaijuma's like, don't mess this up. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. And he's just like, he, he's nervous. He's got that. So they're finally, the night before the match, he's unable to sleep at all. He's pale as all can be. And they get on the bus to go, and he ends up throwing up in the third year's lap. So, that's a great start to the journey. So, that was the end of episode 5. And we are on our way to the practice match with Ido, the number, one of the number 4 schools in that time. I'm excited to see it. I hope you guys are too. I, man, this series is really good. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.